Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and in today's video we're gonna go over four units that got their seven star. We're just gonna be talking about their moves, uh, their new abilities and their super TMR because some of them got a really really good super TMR and the first one that we're gonna talk about is Mr. Ramza uh, we're gonna go over the super TMR fast fast the SK21 whatever big shield I have uh, a hard time saying that word uh, basically 60 percent uh, 60 defense 60 spirit 15 percent to HP and all element resistance plus 20 percent this if you have four of this guy go for that super tmr because this thing is no joke and it's really 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 good uh we're gonna go over the new abilities that he gets he basically gets spirit break and defense break which is a physical damage 1.8 to one enemy and decreases spirit by 60 percent for five turns to one enemy and uh decreases defense by 60 percent for five turns to one enemy so if you guys awaken mind break and weapon break, they basically become a 60% break. And with, with Mr. Ramza, you're going to be able to break all the stats by 60% for 5 turns, which is really, really good. He becomes a breaker and not only a singer, but a really good breaker. Then he gets Northern Sky Apprentice, uh, physical damage 6 times to 1 enemy. It's a 6 hit chaining move and he's going to be able to chain with his friend Delita. We're going to go over that after. Then, he gets Moral Boost. It's on a 3 turn cooldown, but you can get it on the first turn. So first turn, you can do it right away. It's going to grant a 2000 HP shield for 3 turns to all your allies. So let's say your units, randomly, they all at uh, 8000 HP. Well, with that, you're going to get 8000 HP plus a 2000 HP shield on top of that. So let's say the boss hits you. He's going to have to break the 2000 HP shield before it gets to your actual uh, your actual uh, HP, sorry. Uh, so this thing is really, really good. Then at level 110, he gets dual break, use break skill twice in one turn. So you're fighting a boss, you can only break his magic and let's say his uh, defense. Well, right here, you're going to be able to break the defense and magic by 60% for five turns, which is really, really good. I love this move. Ramza. You get a good thumbs up for your 7 star because you just got a lot better and a lot more useful in some fights. Then, uh, on the uh, trait, so let's say it's passive abilities, uh, level 101, so the second you awaken him, you're going to need his TMR, which is the Brave Suit. Uh, the second you equip him to him, you're going to get an, H, uh, an HP MP defense spirit increase by 15%, which is also really, really good. Uh, at level 115, you get MP plus 20%. And at level 120, which, trust me, is really, really hard to get to, uh, you get Heroic Omen, increase attack by 50%, HP and MP by 15% when equipped with a sword, and increase LB, uh, LB gauge fill rate by 50%. So these things are really, really good. Like I told you guys, if you want uh, Awaken Mind Break and Weapon Break, because you're going to get that uh, all break stats by 60% for 5 turns, and it becomes really, really good. Is uh, blah, 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 blah. is limit burst? Sorry, is limit burst? Is limit burst now? Uh, it becomes an increase in attack and magic by 130% for three turns. It's 18 crisp. It's a little bit more exp uh, expensive, but nonetheless, uh, he's still a really, really good unit. Uh, they did really good stuff with him, especially this giving him the spirit and defense break. He becomes a full break unit. Well, not a full break unit on one shot, but you can basically break all the stats which is really really good and that moral boost uh, giving an HP shield of 2000 HP that that's really good so Ramza if you have four of him get a super TMR and uh, get him to a seven star because he's gonna be a lot better than he was at six star then moving on to the next one the almighty Delita uh, not that great but let's go over his stuff uh, super TMR the subservient Increase attack by 80%, which is really, really good. But then they show up with fixed damage, 2,000 per turn to caster. So the second you equip that to your uh, character, let's say it's a materia, you put it on your cloud. Well, every turn, yeah, you get an increase in 80% uh, to your attack. But every turn, you're also getting a fixed damage of 2,000, which is... All right. I mean, you get good healers. You can uh, probably out-heal out that which is not bad at all but you know 
why why give it that minus 2000 well doesn't matter we're gonna keep going delita uh doesn't get too many things but he gets northern sky apprentice which he's gonna be able to chain with ramza then he gets karma blade uh, available on turn two, which is a turn two, uh, two turn cooldown. I'm gonna have to get used to these words. Physical damage 11 times to one enemy and decreases dark resistance by 120% for three turns to one enemy. So, uh, this is actually really, really good if you're using, um, let's say, Dark Veritas and uh, Sephiroth with, uh, let's say, Dark Blades. Uh, getting that 120% uh, decrease in dark resistance, you can do a lot more damage than 100% uh, with Sephiroth's Limit Burst. So this thing is actually really, really good. Then he gets Dual Break. Use Break Skill twice in one turn. But the only thing that he has is basically Break uh, the Spirit and Break Defense, which is not that great. Even if you awaken it right here, you go to a 65% Break. Ramza has all four Breaks in him. So if I had to choose, I would probably bring Ramza. Uh, if you're fighting a boss that can only be uh, get his Defense and Spirit broken, then yeah, that extra 5% is really good from uh, Delita, but other than that, I would always bring Ramza instead of Delita. Uh, we're gonna go over his traits, so his passive abilities. He gets a full moon, basically uh, the second you give him uh, the moon blade, so his own TMR. He gets an increase in attack by 20%, increase equipment attack by 100% when single wielding uh, one hand weapon, increase accuracy by 25%, one single wielding a one-handed weapon. So he becomes a true double hand character, uh, gets an attack by 20% increase at level 115 and also increase in MP by 20% at level 115. Then once you reach level 120, he gets Treacherous Friend, friend oh my god, Treacherous Friend, increase attack and MP by 50% when equipped with a sword, increase equipment attack by 50% percent when single wielding a one-handed weapon increase uh accuracy by 25 percent when single a one-handed weapon and increase modifier on the following skill northern sky apprentice uh becomes a 1.6 instead a wait wait increase the modif yeah yeah okay so basically you get an extra 1.6 so it becomes a 7.6 sorry multiplier on uh northern sky apprentice so he's going to be able to chain with uh, Ramza, like I said before, you can also get his crush armor from the event that it was going on last week. I think you still you can still buy it at the King Mog. Uh, crush armor decreased defense and spirit by forty percent for three turns to one enemy. Not that great, especially now that you can uh, use your break skill twice in one turn. That thing's a lot better. Uh, is limit burst lightning physical damage twelve point four times multiplier to all enemies. Inflict silence hundred percent to all enemies. Uh, basically, it's a 6 hit. 22 crists. Not that bad, but not that great. So, Mr. Delita, what do you get from me? Is basically just that, eh, you're alright. Now, the good thing is, if you guys fuse, let's say, I'm gonna take a little break. If you guys fuse your, uh, let's say, your 7 star, you give him a 5 star. You basically increase the super TMR by 50%, right? And by doing that, you get a good chance of getting a 50% Moogle for free. Now the good thing is, let's say you have 6 Delita and you don't want the Super TMR because you find it stinks or whatever. Uh, make 2 7 star Delita and basically give 1 uh, 5 star version uh, to the 7 star. So you're going to increase the Super TMR by 50% and you're going to get a 50% Moogle. And your second one, you do the same thing. You bring it to a 7 star and you give the last Delita to him. It's going to go up by 50% of Super TMR, and you're going to get another 50% Moogle. So by doing that, you'll get two 50% Moogles, and uh, you'll get a grand total of 100%. So you can give that 100% Moogle to any character that you want their TMR from. So if you're a big whale, and you have a lot of, let's say, Delitas, or a lot of uh, Ramza, or whatever you have a lot of, uh, you could do that trick, which is also really, really good, because now you can actually get 100% Moogle and give it to any unit that you want. So, that's it for Mr. Delita. We're going to move on to Seabreeze Dark Fina, and let's see how good she became. Uh, her Super TMR Summer Whip is actually really, really cool. Attack 93, Magic 163. Uh, she has a chance of uh, inflicting all status ailments by 80% to all units, uh, to all enemies, sorry. And she gets the ability Rainbow Whip, Rainbow Rainbow Whip. If I'm able to go on it, there you go. 
uh, fire, ice, lightning, water, wind, earth, light, and dark, hybrid damage not nine times to all enemies. So that whip is really, really good. It's basically what she has right here with her swimsuit. Sea Breeze Dark Fina. Uh, let's move on to the other stuff. Her 7 star version. At level 105, you get Boreas Gale. It's on a tur uh, 2 turn cooldown, available on turn 2. Wind magic damage 7.6 to all enemy, decreases wind resistance by 60% for 3 turns to all enemy. It's a 12 hit move, 72 MP. So you guys will see that the 7 star units, yeah they hit really hard, but their MP consumption is really, really high. That's one thing you have to take note on. Then, she has a Mirus Zorn. Same thing, 2 turns cooldown, available on turn 2. Water magic damage, 9 times to all enemy, decreases water resistance by 60% for 3 turns to all allies. Same thing, 12 hit move, 72 MP. Then, level 110, she gets a... Uh, ooh, Exen Light. Exen Light. Uh, increased magic and SPR, 100% for 3 turns to all allies. Increased lightning, water, wind, earth resistance by 70% for 3 turns to all allies. It's an 80 MP move. And on turn, uh, on level 110, she basically gets Somer, uh, Somer Ferrain. Oh, I said that right. Man, they have to work with those names. Jeez. Uh, 10 turn cooldown available on turn 1. Decreased water resistance by 110% for 8 turns to all enemies, which is really, really strong. Auto revive 80% HP for 8 turns to caster, which is really, really good. Increased magic by 150% for 8 turns to caster which is also really good and she's gonna refresh 180, P, uh, 180 MP split over 8 turns to caster it's 88 MP uh, this is really good if you want to dish out a lot of damage getting that 150 percent increase in magic can be really really good and uh, you guys will see why she got a little bit better we're gonna go over her new passive moves because then she has a lot of good magic so passive she has a uh, midsummer freedom if uh, you give her, her own TMR or a swimsuit, increase magic by 50%, HP by 30%, increase water resistance by 50%, increase LB, uh, upgrade LB, sorry, and increase magic and spirit to 30% when equipped with a whip. So if you give her the whip, she gets an extra, or Malboro, uh, the, the weapon you get from killing Malboro, uh, she gets an extra 30% in magic and spirit. Also, she got Siren at level 110. Chance to counter physical attacks 50% with Siren, and Siren is right here. Decreases spirit 50% for 3 turns to all our enemies, and decreases water resistance 100% for 3 turn to all enemies, which is really, really good if you bring Titus or any other uh, character that does a lot of water damage. This thing can actually be good. Then level 115 should get increased magic by 20%, 20 and at level 120, summer magic, Increase LB gauge fill rate by 50%. Increase equipment magic 50% when single wielding any weapon. Increase equipment magic 50% when dual wielding. So you make her dual wield or a single wield, she still gets that extra 50% in magic. Then increase modifier on the following skills three times to Utopia, which Utopia is right is it here. Where is it? Where is Utopia? Where is Utopia? Oh my god. Can't find it. Right here. Oh, uh, I found it. Uh, water magic damage 2.8. So it basically becomes a 5.8 with consecutive uses. Increase 2 time uh, to all enemies. So you're not going to be using that that much, I think. But nonetheless, it's still a really, really good move. And this is where everything becomes a lot better. She's going to be able to chain with Lulu and Barbaricha. So she gets Flood, which is a water chaining move. Decreases uh, lightning resistance by 50% for 3 turns to all enemies. And uh, she gets Tornado, which decreases wind resistance by 50% for 3 turns to all enemies. The good thing is, yeah, you decrease lightning resistance. But she has a chance to counter with Siren, which will decrease water resistance by 100%. So if you get Lulu and Seabreeze Dark Fina in there, you can do a lot of damage with all that water. And we're going to go over right here. Oh yeah, it's true. Utopia gets a, gets a ability enhancement. So it hits a little bit harder, but nonetheless, Flood floods the way to go with maybe Utopia at the end. Uh, then Hell's Water. 
Uh, once it's upgraded, you basically get water magic damage six times versus a 5.25. Uh, would ignore a 50% to all enemies, water magic damage 0.3 as MP drain 30% to all enemies. So that thing is not that bad. Uh, Seabreeze Dark Fina, you get a thumbs up because now you can chain with Lulu and you can also chain with Barbaricha and uh, Utopia guys. Don't forget about Utopia like I did because I forgot about that move. Uh, so Utopia, Seabreeze Dark Fina, you get a thumbs up girl. And uh, let's move on to the last one. Miss Lightning. Yes, she's finally back. Uh, she was my first 5-star unit that I got when I first started playing. So uh, I'm happy she is now relevant in this game. Let's go over Super TMR. The Omega Weapon. A sword with a 176 attack. This thing is really, really good. And uh, yeah, she, she don't forget, she has dual wield passive in her kit. So... This is why she becomes a lot better. We're going to go over her stuff right here. Lightning Strike, basically on a two-turn cooldown available on turn two. Physical damage, 11 times to one enemy. Decreases lightning resistance by 100% for three uh, for one turn to one enemy. It's a three-hit move. Uh, she could do a lot of damage, and this is the reason why. She gets Endless Army. Increase Attack, Defense, Magic, Spirit, 150%. 150 for three turns to cast her. So she's gonna buff herself up by 150% for three turns, uh, which is gonna be able to dish out even more damage. Physical damage 7.2 times to one enemy, and it's a 12 hit move. And if you guys see this right here, I can tell you that she's able to chain with Titus or Titus, whatever you guys wanna call him. Uh, so you wanna, if you don't have the Omega weapon, you just give her the Brotherhood. If you have another Water Sword, you give it to her and you basically just make Titus and uh, Lightning chain together and you just dish out even more damage. So this thing, this is why she becomes a lot better because now she has a chaining partner with Camille or even Camille and uh, Mr. Titus. So yes, thumbs up. Just because of that, she, you get a thumbs up girl. Uh, next, if you get the uh, or TMR, the, the scarf that is literally poop, uh, Knight of the Aurora. Whatever I just said there. Uh, increase attack by 80%. Increase modifier on the following skills. Crushing Blow. So Crushing Blow gets a little bit of a buff right here. So at 3.5 becomes a 6.5 with decreased lightning. 75% if you did awaken that move. Uh, so that's one good thing. Then she gets increased equipment attack 30% when dual wielding. So the second you give her dual wield, two weapons and uh, one weapon in each hand. Bam, she gets an extra 30%. At level 115, you get MP plus 20%, which is really good because they all need MP, those 7-star units. And at level 120, which is going to take me a really long time to get, increase HP, defense, and spirit by 20%. Increase attack by 20% when equipped with a sword. Increase attack by 20% when equipped with a gun. Increase modifier on the following skills. Blitz, electric blitz, ice blitz, heat blitz, and arrow blitz. Yeah, she becomes a lot stronger the second you get to that level 120, uh, the game really pays you back for grinding grinding those Cactuars over and over again. Uh, her uh, Limit Burst, Army of One, basically becomes a physical damage, 18 times multiplier to one enemy, and uh, decreases defense by 74% for three turns to one enemy. So the break is really, really good. 26 crystals. Uh, not that bad because you can do a lot of damage since she's doing physical damage and uh, if you're fighting a boss and you can break down this defense 74% is really really strong and just the fact that you can chain with Titus is amazing uh, guys don't forget as you're boosting your units to a 7 star state uh, their uh, cap goes from a 300% to a 400% so you can boost their attack now going from 300% to a max of 400% so that thing is really really good you can boost their damage out and uh kill things even faster and just for the fun of it we're gonna go right here nice and slowly i just want to see show you guys exactly how mr titus or titus can chain with this girl so endless army we're gonna do this we're just gonna do this just for fun and uh, that little rat is gonna get overkilled real fast there you go guys, you have it. 
Lightning and Titus chaining together. This thing is amazing. Guys, if you did enjoy this video or it was helpful for you guys, let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, let me know also which unit was your first 7 star to awaken. And uh, don't forget about that trick to get the 50% Moogles. So if you guys don't remember, just rewind a little bit back. Hey, my finger's disappearing. Just rewind a little bit back on this video and uh, just look at it one more time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you are new to this channel, leave a like down below on the video. And also subscribe on the little red button. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.